Good morning. I just wanted to read you a couple passages out of Lisa's diary. I wanted you to feel a little bit about her, you know. This is uh, this flag. This is a flag I'm wearing come out of her pocketbook. It's been a while since I've been in her pocketbook. And it's kind of weird going in her pocketbook because I never did in the whole 10 years. I'd hand her a pocketbook if she wanted something. I just It's just something that I didn't do. But this is... Uh, this is the day before her 53rd birthday. It's Saturday, November the 26th, 2016. Gator is painting hallway, and I'm listening to the radio. Love today's country music. It makes me laugh, because I thought, country music? Ugh, that shit was for old people. I said about 20 or so years ago. All the great rock I grew up with is now classic rock. Well, now, I am that old person. I know my dad would be laughing at me now. What y'all listening to, sis? I can hear him say. Yeah, okay, dad. Ha, ha. Still Saturday, about 11.05 a.m. Gator made us breakfast, as he almost always does. Sun is shining lots like it's going to be another beautiful day here in Dixie in November. Gator is outside doing what Gator usually does, if the weather is 70 or above. Ha <laughs> ha. November the 27th, 2016, my birthday. Looks like another beautiful day. My love, Gator, surprised me with coffee, with my favorite coffee creamer, hazelnut. Mmm. I love it. And a breakfast of champions, eggs, ham, hash browns, and toast. Bless his heart. Well, going out on the porch, enjoying the warm spring-like weather. Today, I am 53. Wow, where has time gone? Well, it's 1 p.m. waiting for my son, mom, and my sweet granddaughter to call me. They finally call, and of course, mom had to cry, which made me cry, and Kaylee said I was getting old. Dad, I needed to come and see her. Ha ha. I to her. I hope to, to be around a little longer. We went to Mike and Betty's for a while, and Betty gave me a beautiful Kathy pocketbook, and Mike gave me a blank blank. Woo wee! It has been a great birthday. <laughs> Dear Diary, Tuesday, May the 9th, 2017. I know it's been a long while since I have wrote. My mind has not had much to say than the same old, old, sad, depressed stuff. Kaylee has scoliosis surgery, March 16, and I is finally starting to feel like herself again. Thank you, Jesus. Also, I found out after a little Justin fourth birthday that I am about to be blessed with another grandbaby. I am so excited. I hope for a girl this time because Kaylee is grown up. If it is a girl, her name is leaning toward Emma Rose. Not sure what the name will be the baby if it's a boy. Dear Diary, this is Thursday, May 11, 2017. Dear Diary, started day with folding clothes, cleaning bedroom, to have a place to put all of them. Need to bring extra dresser up from cabin so I have somewhere to keep all our clothes that we barely wear. Ha ha. So far, i seen and killed a granddaddy long leg, a small spider, possibly a brown recluse, that Gator killed, and a dried up dead gecko, a.k.a. lizard. <clears throat> okay, I've been spooked. But we'll try to keep going because, as usual, it's 90 in the shade outside with humidity 190. Ugh, I hate Georgia summers. <coughs> Excuse me. Tuesday, May 23rd, 2017. Dear Diary, my, my mom is turning 91 today. Hard to believe it's been another year gone by. I feel so bad for her because she seems to never feel good anymore. I... I wish I could make her feel better. Also, my Susie has took a turn for the worst. I don't want her to pass on my mom's birthday, but at the same time, don't want her to suffer. I've had 
her since Kaylee has been three, and Kaylee is now going on 17. Susie has lost her bearing and most of her eyesight. I didn't think I was going to take this so hard, but she can't stand up. She just falls over. Thursday, May 23rd, 2017. Called mom to say happy birthday, but she had a migraine headache, so I told her I would call her later. Susie has had two screaming pains. I thought my gator was going to have to put her down, but on his way outside with her, he stopped so I could say my final farewell. She took her last breath as I pet her and told her how very much I loved her and always will. Gator and I both cried like babies. We still are grieving. We pronounced her dead about 1.10 p.m., but all, at least my Mitchell didn't have to put her down. So thank you, Jesus. I love you. Sunday is June the 4th, 2017. Well, dear Dolly, I just got home from the longest stay for me in the hospital. It's Monday evening. We have, let's see, Monday, June the 5th, 2017. I'm still feeling weak, but Gator has doctor's appointment, 245. This is Monday evening. We have been gone all day, but I enjoyed getting out. On the way home, we stopped by Philip Gray. First time I've been there since we laid him to rest 10 plus years. Still got lump in my throat. Headstone Beautiful has a Harley Davidson Sportster on it. Was exhausted when we got home. My gator did that for me. He is such a great man. To Jesus said, got appointment for emergency food stamps and went to the open arm clinic. Go back Thursday. That was something right there that you just, it's just hard to, and then prayer by letter, St. Matthew's Churches. Ain't that something? I was just going through there, and I wanted to, I wanted to read a few of those, um, a few of those things that, that she wrote in there, and, uh, I was just read. I ran, I was reading over some other things that I, I got, um, you know, that I've got times and, and stuff that I, you know, I don't know, I just, been saying that I may have a couple of things that are that are uh, um, not exactly in the same day that uh, I've gotten confused, but um, it's pretty. It's all the same. I mean, it's all the same thing. It's just it's good to go back over stuff and and. Uh, but I've got the letter here. Um, you know, as I said, I told uh, Aaron Ringer September eighteenth. Lisa said not to tell Justin. Uh, doing cat scan on brain, and uh, transferred to Gainesville. I'm freaking. Something blocking Lisa's dream. Beverly and nurse coming on. Nurses seem to be taking care of Lisa. Rolling her, checking bags, saying they're sorry. And don't say you're sorry for doing your job, I say. Now I go back and see this. It just ain't right. This is the 19th. She's still in a coma. 37 degrees. Now they are heating her up. Her eyes fluttered, talking to Jenny. September the 20th, nurse say she should be awake. Chaplain asked me if I had any family. Aaron asked if they pulled the medicine. I say the pull the, it, on the fentanyl was at 9.8. Now it's at 4.8. September the 20th, temperature is 37.2. Blood pressure is 105 over 50. 21st. This is Wednesday. They cold her again. Kathy, is that's that number. This is next text from Aaron. Phone, September the 24th. Everybody got her dead. What's it matter? Now I remember dream. 18th. Justin's phone. 21st. I give Justin Lisa Knupp's number. September the 21st. There, there's Thursday, I say in a text, they unplugged her again, four of them in there. She got blood, pre blood coming out of her ears. Her blood pressure is 127 over 77. They unplugged her, unplugged machines again. Something wrong, I say. 
It's the 21st, baptized Lisa. Her eyes watered a little, that is all. 21st, I go to food place. That's when I see Pilot and Lisa's dream starts coming in. Doctor's supposed to come in at 20 second, or 12 o'clock. This is the 22nd. Tears flooded her eyes. I told her, told Lisa I was going home. This made started her crying. So I told her I wasn't. And uh, that scene, that, that scene, that she seemed okay with. Now, September 22nd, doctor in there. It say it's September twenty second. It's a third bill collector, September twenty second. Before overrides brain dead. Lisa squeezed my hand twice. The doctor came in and seen her crying, I guess, making it look good so I would trust them. It works. September twenty second. Same day, I think I I think she's gone. Eyes frozen in time, I say. Doctor said it could take a couple of weeks. And I told her I think she's gone. She squeezed my hand. I'm better now, September 22nd. Since the doctor seen what I saw, the nurse changed her attitude. Her eyes can light back up, they say, September the 22nd. Her eyes slap full of water. The 23rd, she's sleeping, I say, I say, and they put a feeding tube down her throat. It was ordered by the doctor. They weren't feeding her. They had her marked as dead. This is where I say this might not be such a good hospital. But there's some of the facts that um, that maybe I may have gotten a little bit mixed up with it. But it's uh, uh, it's still the it's still the same. It, um, basically the same thing and uh, you know and see that was her one last her one last um her one last trying i think this she was when she told me don't tell justin but you know what um i told i made her th that night but we, she had a pretty good night the night we i just went i read everything i got more i got the whole thing wrote down everything detailed and uh and she was on the on my bed here and uh I told her that night, the night before, I told her to go out there and call your son, you know, and, and she tried to, and I don't think he would, I think he was playing his game or whatever, you know, and he wouldn't, but he cut his phone off, you know, and I told him, I said, you know what, when she was, uh, uh, I said, you know, I'm teaching him, all, you know, tell me to go screw myself or something, good God, man, your mama's on the damn, on her deathbed, and you gonna cut your freaking phone off, and I mean, I'm out there texting her his phone for no reason at all, because he just ain't listening, because he knowed that he signed off on her, he didn't hear I, I want that I want that thirteen hundred dollar donation. You know what? Now the money's gone. That's what he wants. A thirteen hundred dollar donation because his mama's dead and everybody go, oh, we oh pit, oh poor pitiful me. Okay what I mean? Huh? Shit. You know, I just, I mean I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it just I, I got I'm I got so much hate in my heart and they say loved him unconditionally and you know, I know this and I mean, it does, you know, she had all that pain. You know what? In the end, I said, you know, that's my heart. And I wanted, I wanted her heart to stay right where it was at. But you know what? He got her he got her heart, too, then. Because, uh, you know, him signing off. You know what? He should have been like me. He should have fought that shit, you know? He should have said no. He still would have killed her. I have no doubt in my mind they was going to kill her because they snatched her. That's what the pilot was there. Hey, I seen Monday when I had the pilots come in. Yeah, they walking around. And then when I look up, they're looking at me. Oh, come on now, man. Hey, and then they go when uh, that, uh, um, I, we go to the, uh, uh, we go to the store, uh, Rex takes me to the store, and they got Lisa, Lisa, uh, Rex and Lisa, uh, in there, you know, to do her nails and stuff, and they wouldn't let her, oh, it's gonna mess up the, the, uh, the, the, the monitor, you know, for her blood pressure monitor. You can't fix her nails. Can't. Oh, we gave her a bath. Well, you didn't wash her hair. Her hair's dirty, dirty. Lisa would never let. She would not 
go open that door. I don't care if the law would have to break the door down and, and tie her up if if she if her hair and her nails wasn't done before she wasn't. If she was going to jail, she would want to have her hair washed or something like that. I mean, I mean I'm just saying. That's that, that's who she was. She just did I couldn't stand it. I'm a man, and I noticed it, you know. See what I'm saying? It's bad, and they didn't care. They, they made her an organ donor. That's what she was. And, uh, and uh, you know, it doesn't matter. What are you, you going to do? You know what? We part out. We part out. You know, John Carter's got the scrap yard over here, you know, and and uh, and the Whitlock's got the, the other scrap yards, you know. And I go down to the scrap yard, and I, I say, you got, any, you got any parts for my old girl? You know, I ain't talking about my damn wife. I'm talking or my whatever you want to call her. I'm talking about my damn truck. Now, that's what you got them part. And when you get parts, you go over and I get parts from my truck. I just can't believe this is happening. Huh? Got a 53-year-old female that's, uh, you know, she might be... She might be a little away. These pictures that I'm showing you is not. You see Lisa in that picture. She's like that, man. She might be big bone and a little, you know, a little short like me, you know. But she is not overweight, not by no means. That's just they just running all them damn uh, fluids in there, and they and they freeze her, and, and she said she's cold, and uh, and now and now I know I was a dumbass when I wrote that and said, well, you know, at least she's not in no pain, you know. I mean, that, that, that is something I don't know what the heck. I don't know what the heck it is that blocked my brain. It just, I mean, you tell, I mean, I lived it. I mean, it just don't make no sense. You know, and I have to wait. Three, it took me, I've been living all this time. Well, at least she did, sir. She suffered. When she told me she was cold, it just changes the whole thing, man. It just, it makes me want to pull that switch on the doctors and the nurses. I want to do everything. You better turn yourselves in, and you better get right with God, you know. If you don't want me to pull the switch on you, and I'm going to get on my hands and knees and beg the President of the United States to do it, if I got to, you know, you guys are going to pay for this, man. So if you don't want to just go on death row and, and for me to pull a switch on you, you better tell on them. I don't want to bust this place. Alabama, California, every place where it's at. Come on now, help me. One of you demonettes out there, you, you, you the demonette that told me that Lisa and Ringer, Black Moat, Aronoff was not ever in that hospital, Tell me, tell me the truth. Who is he doing this? Who's in charge of all this mess? Name everybody that you know. And I see, I'll do my best to let you go. Get you. I, I, I'll get on the stand and say, let let that let that lady go. Let that lady go, and she can, and you can go and hold your grandma. You gonna think about Lisa every time you pick up your grandbabies, hug them or kiss them or something. Every time you think about, it, you think about my Lisa. Cause that was her, that was one of her final cries, her final wish, and the, and the evilness that he, you made her go into death in the, in, with hate in her heart, and it's just bad thing that you've done to her, bad thing. Lace grandbaby law, let's stop this organ donning, let's stop it, man, like we know, like it is today. Let's stop this from happening again. These hospitals, these doctors and nurses, just ugly, man. I, I just don't know. It's something wrong. Something's wrong with this this picture. Something is really wrong with it. I want to find out. Anybody out there, the sound of my voice, if you know, if you're an investigator, you know, you know how to investigate. I would ask my uh, one of the old time investigators. I know he retired though, you know, and. I, I don't, I just don't even uh, know how to get a hold. But I want somebody, you know how to do this. You know how to investigate. Investigate this shit. Investigate me. Investigate everybody that's involved in that house. I want to know what's going on. Okay? Mitchell Aaron Oak Sr., 301 Harbor Valley Road, Tacoma, Georgia, 30577. Write me today. Let me know what's on your mind. I'm gonna tell you what's on mine. Don't let me, don't let me go, don't let me go to the White House and do this all alone. And, and I'm just, I'm just a dumb hillbilly from the sticks. Help me! I want to be intelligent. I want to know what I'm doing. Okay, I want to go in there and say this is 
This is what we got. This is what we can. I need some. I need the current language on the donor law. I need that. I don't have internet or damn news. I don't watch TV. I ain't watched TV in four years, man. That's all that old ugly crap, man. It's just ugly crap. Yeah, I get mine. I get mine. I got all my knowledge. I got, you know, I got knowledge, man. I got knowledge. My 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 father, my father-in-law had. He worked for NASA for. Uh, you you wonder where I get my space? I got a NASA. I got a NASA man. I'm a NASA man because I loved space before. Then I I would have married him instead of my ex. You know what I mean? But anyway, uh, write to me today, and, and and let me know what's going on in your heart, and I tell you what's going on in mine. And maybe I won't be so. I just every time I get the I just uh, I don't know. I was pretty happy, and now I mean, it just makes me mad when I just. I, well, things things like they are, and then and then I I just I don't know. Your mind's a terrible thing to waste. Don't waste it, people. Don't let just don't sit back and hey, kiss your loved one. Tell them you love them, man. You know that's why every minute we spent together, we loved each other. Every minute I I loved her, man. I loved her more than life itself. I really did, and she loved me. More than life itself. She she died and she she didn't live and because and she didn't want to hurt me, and then she know I know she know because I mean I mean she had to know. Oh gosh, it's not gonna work. I mean maybe she I don't know why she wouldn't tell me. Why I mean maybe that's she couldn't. Maybe I don't know what to because she didn't. Hey, she didn't do me no favor because I'm grieving my ass off. Okay, she should have said. Well, you know, she might. She thought maybe I'd go up there with the SKS and blow everybody away. I don't know what she would have thought, but she, you know, that's that's not me. You have to be. You have to be shooting at me. You have to damn. Yeah, you know, I got you know a bullet in me or something, and I'll shoot you. Okay, but that it's not gonna happen. I'm not just. I'm not. A, I'm not a sick. I think that's a, kind of a sick old person to do that. You know, and go up there with a bomb and blow the whole place up. That's. That's just retarded. That's not good. You know, they, them people in there didn't do nothing to me. There's only those, those uh, you know, 144 people that I, I, it comes to my head, you know, like 144 people that's involved in this ring. It, it is a ring. It's a ring of them, man. It's a ring of dirty, illegal organ donning. You know, and they, what do they want to be called? What do you want to be called? Brokers of the best organs in the United States? Huh? Do you want to be, well, we're, we harvest the best organs in the United States? Oh, me, this is, uh, it's taking a lot out of me, you know, and, and I'm glad, and I'll do it every day of my life. Come back and listen to me some more. I've been out. Thanks for listening. Thanks for letting me vent some. But just help me get this law passed. Let's stop it. Let's stop it from our descent. Let's stop it before one of us lands up there on that, and we can't do nothing. We're laying there and watching them take our. Well, you might. They may take our eyes first, so we can't see what they're doing. But you know, they may can't feel it. Fifty-four thousand two hundred one dollars worth of drugs. That's bad, man. Hundred eighty-three thousand. Hundred eighty-three thousand nine hundred and five dollars. I don't know if I told you right. There it is. One hundred eighty-three thousand. Nine hundred and five dollars. God bless America. God bless you. And God bless all the souls. I'm going to try to help you, baby. I'm going to try to help you and all the other thousands of souls that this has been done to. I'm sorry. I'm, I am so sorry, Lisa. I really am. I'm sorry, baby. I will bless your beautiful spirit, honey. Thank you. God bless.